now that we've completed the edit, um, I want to show you how to save this out so it can be opened in an older version of Premiere Pro. Uh, Premiere Pro is forward compatible. That is, if you started a project in an older version of Premiere and then you got a newer version of Premiere, you can open the older version in the newer version of Premiere and it will open just fine. But if you create a project in a newer version of Premiere and you try to open it in an older version, it won't work. It'll give you an error message. So there is a workaround, however, and it's you have to export the project as both a regular export, the way you would save a project, and then you have to export a Final Cut Pro XML, uh, which you can then import into the older version, and it works just fine. So let's take a look. So to normally save the project, you would just you know go up to the File menu inside of Premiere, File, Save, or Save As, and then you would navigate out to your hard drive and then go to your your folder in this case 12 miles of Cusmus and just save it and I'm going to replace it because it was already there and you'll see that out here on in the passport and in the 12 miles of Christmas is the project file that's the normal uh, project file which is the uh, 12 miles of Christmas project file right here 12 miles of Christmas dot PR PROJ which is the normal um, uh, premiere project file and that's how you'd save any project normally and that will open in this version of premiere and also in any newer version of premiere but it will not open in an older version of premiere so let's go back here to premiere again and now let's export it in a way that it could be done and open in older versions of Premiere. And now that we're back in Premiere, we're going to export it for older versions. And we go to File, Export this time, and Final Cut Pro XML. Now, what we're going to do here is we're not going to hide extension because we want it to say XML at the end so we can find it later on. So we make sure this is not checked. So it says the name of the project.xml. And then we're just going to go back to the same folder where we were and just save it in there. So we save it. And then it exports the XML. Okay. <clears throat> so now that's all well and good. So now how do you import it into an older version of Premiere? So let's go ahead and close the project close all the projects and this is the first screen this is the start screen that you would get in Premiere in any version of Premiere and so what you do is you just tell it to start a new project and we're going to tell it to go put everything in that same folder that's fine and make sure that the scratch disk are all set the same as project and we can give it a name as uh, 12 miles from newer version. Okay, so now we've opened the project, but notice nothing is in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the XML file. So instead of importing the video, we're just going to click here, double click. We're going to go out here to the uh, 12 miles of Christmas XML file that we exported before, right here, and we're going to import it. And it takes a few moments to gather itself and do all the importing. I'm going to pause the video while that happens. Okay. And then you'll see that here's all the shots that were used. And here is the actual, um, <coughs> the actual uh, sequence. So if we double click this, this is everything we did. Now, it only imports the files that were... Um, used in the project okay and all these files were used if there's any additional files that weren't used that you still need to import you can still bring those in so I'm just going to go back and just re-import even though some of these may turn out to be duplicates I'm just going to go ahead and re-import all these same ones so I have them all available in case I want to make changes and again this takes a few moments too so I'll pause the video again And then here's all the extra video. Some of it's repeated, but this is only importing the video that wasn't used. 
here's everything else that has been already put on the timeline. Okay, so Premiere did a good job of not repeating um, <coughs> some of the shots that had already been imported with the Final Cut Pro import. Okay, so you can just start um, doing this. Now, why well, suggest that after you import this, you just go ahead and save the project again. And uh, don't save it over your old name, so, you know, make a new name. So we'll just, just call this uh, dot v2 version 2. Okay, and now you're ready to go. And that's it.